Okay, today we have the PM940Y axis. I'm finishing up all the parts on the 940 so I can start selling the CNC kits. So I got uh, three of the Ys done and I'm going to install them right now. So we'll just turn the tripod a little bit. And there's the mill. It's actually really, really easy to fit the Y in. Now, I have another video that's been there for a long time. You do have to drill the hole out on the Y mount right there. So, and then jig will come with that. So, um, basically, once you do that, that allows you to feed the screw in from the top and it allows the Y mount to fit in there reduces how far it sticks out by actually quite a bit. So the first thing you do is you grab your ball screw and I'll go through each one of the ball screws and I generally pull the shims out and either put in larger shims or replace them with another system that makes the double nuts uh, zero backlash. Now this one came in with just a teeny bit of lash so for now I'm going to leave it because this isn't the last time I'm going to put this one together. This is mainly just for demo. So you insert the screw. And you want your slide set so there's no real play but where you can move it by hand. Because you're going to be centering it to it. And then we're going to put on... It's not on the camera. We're going to put on the... Uh, y mount. So we've got the Y mount, and it has the recessed bearings, and they don't need to fit in there real tight, so I didn't make them where they fit real tight. And on your angular contacts, you have a thick end and a thin end. The thick is the outside that gets the pressure applied to it by the hold down bolt. And then we have two Bellevilles. And that just allows for wear of the bearings and uh, the actual the seats too, probably over time. Um, I'm probably going to, this works pretty good without them. So and then we have the coupler, which is threaded. That holds the assembly together. And I actually might re remove the uh, bell bills only because it is fairly easy to set up the preload if you want to and it's so close to fitting right now the one fit problem is with your most your steppers have a shaft that is just long enough where if you don't cut your stepper shaft it won't fit in here so now I step stepper I cut the shaft down a little bit and so you end up with a really short, but literally all I need to do is get an extra two tenths of an inch and you can fit it in there uh, without it. So now I'm just using a piece of plastic, it can be anything. I'm going to snug the bearing up and then through the hole right here, you can get to your coupler lock. I'm not going to wrench it mega tight, but generally speaking, if this was going to be your final tightness or your final assembly, you would tighten it all, all the way with a, a good T-wrench. So that's that. And now we need to put in your uh, Y 20 millimeter nut holder. So now it goes with the screws facing the column. So, and the hole is not perfectly in the center. This whole uh, Y mount is offset because the gib strips are offset. 
And on mine, this hole and this hole are not at the same height, which of course it would be nice if they did, but I'm guessing that someone in China didn't pay that close attention when they put it together. So now the Zerg faces, I got the Zerg facing on the bottom toward the back. And I'm only going to, the nut holds four M6 bolts. I'm only going to hit two in for here. Just because it's just a little faster. So you have M6 bolts for the 20 millimeter ball screws. Snug it up and then loosen it again. And we'll set the mount in place. Now I'm skipping the everything has to be aligned. There's a couple different ways to tell, but I'm leaving everything just a touch loose for the alignment process. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to fit the coupler half in. Now I have a attachment I made for the drill because I do this like more than once. And I'm going to pull it most of the way here. I measured the other day, you have 15 inches from the back of the column to the back of the slide. 15 inches of travel on these things. That's actually pretty incredible. So I'm going to bring it up all the way. If everything's straight, your ball screw will not move much when you tighten it up. Okay, I just saw it pull a little bit to one side, which means that this needs to be a bit different. Now with the ball nut thing, hold her tight, this should be have play in it. here and feel by hand what type of resistance you have. So it's kind of hard to reach in there so I'm using just something like this and it should turn easy. 
If it's binding here, then you need to straighten out your screw. Um, and with double ball nuts, especially when they're set tight, um, if it's tight right here and it takes a lot of force to turn, then you have your screw crooked. So this one's been lining up really good just naturally, so that's actually great. So that's it. The uh, Y mount for the PM940 is finished. And by the end of this week, I'll be done with all of the axes. They're actually all done. I just haven't got it all put together yet. And so uh, we have, I'm going to, I got three kits that are done now. And I'll probably do a couple more for the, uh, before I actually put them officially up for sale. So that's it. There you go. Thanks, guys.